everyone, so I'm going to be filming a very quick haul. I actually just went to Ulta. I knew they were having a couple of sales on some things that I needed. So I went there and I figured I would just show you what I got. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, the bag is super cute. It's part of the breast cancer awareness and it's pink with a pink kiss. So cute. And you could actually donate for breast cancer um, research at the register. So let's start out with the two Batiste dry shampoos. They actually changed the packaging. Um, it used to be white, now it has like a silver kind of look to it. And you guys know I love these. I'm always repurchasing it um, because I just feel like it's the best dry shampoo out there. Um, not. I don't think the normal one is anything better than some of the... I wouldn't say anything better. I think Batiste in general is a good brand for dry shampoos. I just feel like when you compare the normal one, non-tinted one, you can find comparable brands that do the same job. But I haven't found any that are tinted that I like as much. And for me, I much rather have my roots tinted the same color and have them blend in with my hair than having that white cast that you get with the other dry shampoos. And I feel like this is perfect even when your roots are growing out, it kind of minimizes that root growth look and it's like one, two in one because it acts as a dry shampoo but it also makes things very even and nice with the tint. And they are typically $8.99 each at Ulta, but they were having a one by one get 50% off. So, um, so when they, whenever they have sales like that, I always buy these. So next, I got the Tresemme Thermal Heat Protectant, and you guys know I love this. I always use this one. I haven't found a need to go out and try other brands because this one pretty much does the job and it's pretty affordable too. They were actually having a sale, not too big of a sale, but it's usually $5.99 and it was $4.99. So it's a dollar off for something that is already affordable and that I already get all the time. So got one of these because mine is almost done. I think I have like a tiny little bit left. I probably will just use it up next time I wash my hair. So got this. So next I got the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and it's the clear one and I'm actually not going to be using this for my lashes, it's actually for my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using this as a eyebrow gel. I've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube and I feel like it's perfect. Um, I don't use um, pens or pencils on my eyebrows, I fill them in with a powder. But I feel like by using this on top, it will just help the hair stay in place. And I used to use one by e.l.f. in the past, and then it just ran out and I never repurchased it. But I heard that the Maybelline Clear Lash one is really good, and they were having a buy one, get one 50% sale as well. So I got this, which I think was $5.45. Um, so which is, you know, it's not too bad. And that's for my eyebrows and then I got, let me see, because so I got the Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick and these don't look too fancy but you know it's part of their, they have a 24 hour line and this one's a 14 hour lipstick and when I look at all my lipsticks they're either pink, nude or red and I don't have anything very plummy and I've just been seeing so many people wear like plum colors now that the winter is coming in. And I just figured, you know, maybe let me try one of the plum colors. So I was trying out looking at all the Maybelline lipsticks um, because primarily I wanted to buy another one so I could get buy one, get one 50% off. Um, and I tried a couple of the, I don't know which ones they are. But they're very cute, like the packaging is very like cute and like fancy. Um, but they weren't as moisturizing, so I tried a bunch of them, swatched them on my hand, and as soon as I put on this one, it was so smooth. And it was actually 
plumbier than the other colors that I was trying to like swatch. So it's actually kind of pricey. It's $8.99, which I feel like for a drugstore lipstick, it's kind of high end. I'm not high end, it's kind of expensive. But this color is very pretty. Let me swatch it for you. It's called Fuchsia Forever, which I thought it would be like something more like plummy, a plum name, because they had like all these plum names, but no, this one's Fuchsia Forever. It slides on very smoothly. Let me show you. It, sh it's, it slides on like butter. I don't know if you, if you can tell. It's coming off more like a lot more, I guess, brown on camera, but it's actually very true to what you see here. Smooths on very nicely and it's very like plummy. So I haven't tried this on my lips, but I will let you guys know and you will probably see me wearing this in my next videos unless I hate it and then I won't. But if I like it, which I think I will, the consistency seems really nice. So lastly is the Sushé Vite, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I wanted a top coat by this brand, um, and it seemed like they were out of it. When I got there, there was none left. They only had like the, they had the place for it and the price, but there was none there. Um, so I actually asked him to go in the back, and he came back with two. I didn't need two, um, so I only got one. I'm trying it for the first time, but this is actually the product I really, really wanted today. It was really the product that drove me to Ulta today because I wasn't running out of any of these things. Um, I just happened to buy them because they were having a sale and I don't want to like drive to Ulta every day. Um, but I've heard amazing things about this top coat. I've heard that this one makes your nails just last so long. It like melts into your nail polish so it goes deep down all into one formula and it really sticks to your nails um, so I'm like really happy about that um, I hope it works as everyone says it works and if you saw my Facebook post I said after I would pass my exam because I was so so tired I said I was gonna go out and get my hair done and get my manicure and pedicure well ended up going to get my hair done but I decided not to go and get my nails or pedicure um, done just because I started thinking and I was like oh it's such a waste of money like a, a week later it's gone it's something that you pay for and then it's gone so and it's winter and everything it's not like I'm showing off my pedicure or anything so I thought I'd rather invest in good nail products and I was in desperate need of a good top coat and pay for it and then do it at home because this costs ten dollars and even though you may think, oh my gosh, $10 for a top coat, I would have paid at least $30 for a manicure and pedicure, uh, minimum. So $10, this will last me more than one, you know, one time use. So I feel like it's worth it and I can do it at home and it's a way of saving money too. So it's about balance, I feel like. I don't like, I like buying my things and having nice things, but I also don't like to waste and I feel like when I can compromise in certain things, I do, if that makes sense. Okay guys, so that was my very quick haul from Ulta. It was super cheap, I feel like, because I got all these things and I paid, I paid them separately. And this is a tip for you guys. If you have, if, if you're an Ulta member and you get the three, 350 off 10 um, at home or 20%, um, I think it works more with a 350 off 10. This is a tip. You can divide your, you know, your purchase into two and then use two coupons because if I were to, you know, put this all together in one transaction, I would only have 350 off. Because I divided it, they usually don't give me a problem. They just use my coupon twice. So, I got 350 off of both. So, and because they were, you know, buy one, get one 50% off, pretty much all of them except the top coat, um, I spent 14 on one receipt and 21 on the other. So, like 35 bucks for all of this, which is great. These two, when they're not on sale alone, they're 18, nine each. So, 
feel like that's amazing. I mean, this is nine alone too. So I think that was a great deal. All things that I really need. And I'm really happy with this, you know, quick purchase. So let me know if you guys want to see more of these hauls. Um, I don't film hauls that much, but I figured I would show you. Um, I was really excited about, you know, these little things that I got. And yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, so I will talk to you very soon. Again, leave me comments down below. I always look at your requests. And I love reading your comments. They really make my day. So yeah, thank you so much. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.